It's a really simple starting out with clay pinch pot project, though this one's very elaborately decorated. You don't need to do all that decoration if you don't want. So what we're going to do is start with a very basic pinch pot. So take a small lump of clay and we're going to pound that into a ball shape in our hands. That part of the hand there is perfect for smacking into the ball shape. It's nice and curved, it's the exact shape that we want. Okay, we want to do this quite quickly because we don't want to dry out our clay too much. The drier the clay is, the harder it will be to work with later. Okay, so I'm smoothing over some of those cracks. My clay is quite dry to begin with, that might give me a lot of cracking today. Let's we'll see how we go. Okay, so once we have a ball shape, what we're going to do is take our thumb and push it down into the centre of the clay, like that. So I've pushed it down to about that depth there, you know, just under a centimetre from the bottom of the pot. I'm then going to take these four fingers and use them as a tool, tightly compressed together, and use those to push against my thumb in that sort of motion, so that we're thinning the clay out and compressing it around the base. I push, I rotate a finger width, so three fingers end up pressing where I've already pressed. That makes it a more even pot, it compresses the clay particles to make it a stronger pot. Once I've got the right thickness at the bottom, I start moving up the sides. It's important to do the bottom first because when you're working with larger pieces of clay, it's very, very difficult to get back down into that bottom area once you've enlarged that top bit. Your fingers often don't reach properly. Keeping in mind that we're actually aiming for a bird bath shape, so I'm going to stretch this out a little bit, flare out the edges, see all that cracking happening. See if we can work around that in a moment. That's because my clay is actually quite dry to begin with. All right, so I have a little shallow bowl shape. Now because my clay is so dry, I'm going to take a knife and I'm just going to trim off that rough edge. It's a good way to even out the edge. I don't always do this. Sometimes all you need to do is run your finger along and smooth over those cracks. Okay. Smoothing over. Smoothing the inside. Running my finger over that bowl. So what I'm going to do is put that down on top of a banding wheel. In the centre, I'm going to use a rubber kidney. Rubber kidneys are perfect for smoothing out. I put my finger there and it's got that flexibility that it will meet the curve of the pinch pot. So fingers on the outside, thumb on the middle and rub that over. Smoothing over some of those cracking lines and evening out that shape. Turn my banding wheel rather than turning the pot means the pot keeps its shape much easier. So that's the top of my bird bath. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. Put it there upside down. And we're going to make the, the pedestal base. 